Hi yogis, welcome to Move with Anna. Today we're going to do a really basic yoga flow. This is great for somebody who's a little bit newer to yoga, um, newer to some of my workouts. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll actually start in a seat today. Just starting to center ourselves with a little bit of breath work here. You can close your eyes if you like. It's a nice way to kind of drop inward. And just take a few deep breaths. You can start with a nice open mouth exhale if you like, growing tall through the spine as you inhale. Good, spread the shoulders and exhale. Now take a couple breaths in and out the nose. And then from your seat, go ahead and roll forward onto your tabletop, your hands and knees. We'll take a, just a few cat-cow breaths as you inhale. Cow pose, so the belly drops, the tailbone shoots up toward the sky, the collarbone spread, gentle gaze up, and exhale, cat, rounding through the spine, tucking the chin to the chest. Inhale for your cow. Exhale for cat. Good, one more round, in and out. Beautiful, back to your tabletop. And stretch back for a child's pose, arms extend. Good, knees come out. Hmm. Press yourself back up. Hands and knees, tabletop. As you inhale, I want you to extend the right arm forward and the left leg back. So a little spinal balance here. Good, holding here and breathing. Good, take an inhale and extend, and then exhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Reach and squeeze, moving with the breath. Good. Three more on this side for one, two, three. Squeeze it in and extend the arm and leg back out. Set that hand back down to the mat. Bend the knee of the lifted leg and take little pulses here. Just tiny little pulses, bringing the knee up above hip height. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Drop that knee down to the mat and then inhale. Shift the right leg back and left leg forward. Good. Hold here and breathe. Good, keeping that spinal extension. Take a breath in and exhale, squeeze knee to elbow. Reaching, squeezing. Good, moving with the breath. In and out the nose for three, for two, and one. Reach long, set the hand back down to the mat. Bend the knee of the lifted leg and start to take your pulses. Just tiny little pulses up and down. Good, give me five more for five, four, three, two, one. That knee comes back down to the earth. Now press yourself back into downward facing dog. Good, so you can pedal out. You can stay here and still downward facing dog, really pressing the palms down into the mat, spreading the fingertips wide. Good, ceiling navel up in towards the spine. Knit your two lowest ribs in together. Breathe here. Good, yogis. One more full round of breath and you're downward facing dog. Gaze forward towards the top of your mat, inhale. And then as you exhale, take tiny little steps towards the front. Bring your feet out hip width distance or wider and then let the head and neck drop. Ragdoll pose, so you can take opposite elbows or just let the arms dangle here. You can take a little traction on the back of your neck if that feels good. Good, let it go for another full round of breath in and out. Toe heel the feet to touch. Use the full inhale to rise all the way to standing, top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, bring palms to prayer. But again, inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. I'm gonna break down a chaturanga for you. So in chaturanga, you're gonna start in a high plank. 
everything's kind of lined up. And then you want to hinge forward slightly so you're just a little bit over your wrists. Lower down halfway. Notice my elbows pinned into the sides here. For upward facing dog, you're gonna to come to the tops of your feet. Notice how my thighs are not resting on the earth. You're not putting strain on the low back that way. And then you're coming into your downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath here. And just some modifications as you're building strength through that, you can always take a chaturanga on your knees and lower halfway down. That's a great way to do it. You can also hold a high plank and move straight to downward facing dog. All of those are great strength building moves. Good, so take an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step to the top. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reset, half lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna take one more of those. Inhale, gaze forward. We're linking breath to movement. Step to the top on the exhale. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms high. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Good, take your Chaturanga Dandasana or your modification of it. Good, a lot of these linking breath to movement really start to build heat in the body, starting to warm up. Take a full breath in your downward facing dog, in and out. Gaze forward, inhale, exhale, step to the top of the mat. Lift halfway, reset, and exhale, fold. On the inhale, I'm gonna do this from the side so you can see, take a chair pose here. So chair pose, you want the weight centered more into your heels. You can even lift all 10 toes off the mat and set them back down. Good, your gaze is up, arms are engaged, core is engaged, you're sinking low. Good, take a big breath in, exhale, sink a little lower. Good, and then release, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, take your Chaturanga Dandasana. We're straight to downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. Take a full breath in your downward facing dog. On the inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, come all the way up, find a high lunge. So your back heel's lifted off the ground, the front knee is over the front ankle. Big breath in. And then an exhale, open up to your warrior two. Good, so I moved around on the mat. It's gonna be more like that kind of transition. It should be smooth. You want the heel lined up with the arch of the back foot, so move your feet as necessary. Arms are engaged. You're using your breath, you're staying here in your warrior two. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, plant the hands, step the foot back, wash through your vinyasa if you're taking it. The inhale brings you to upward facing dog. The exhale to downward facing dog. Full breath. On the inhale, reach the left leg to the sky. Bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, come to your high lunge. Big breath in, big breath out. The heel is lifted. Good, and then exhale to warrior two. Good. You can see this from the back angle now. Make sure your heel to arch alignment is good. Take a few more breaths here in warrior two to even out. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Notice my legs don't change. Reaching back, finding that side body opening. And then windmill down, frame the foot with the hands, step the left leg back, and either take your vinyasa on your knees or take your chaturanga. Just however you like it. Listen to your body. I'm cueing a lot of these in this class, so make sure you protect yourself. 
Big inhale, big exhale. On the next inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step the foot through. Listen carefully, tap the back knee down, and this time bring the arms up. So this is more of a kneeling crescent. Big breath in, arms up. Exhale, half splits. Good, so you're reaching forward. You want that, those toes kind of flexed back towards your face. You're working on a hamstring opening here. Take another full round of breath in and out. Hinge forward, hands planted on either side of the foot. Lift the back knee up, spiral the back foot down. Inhale, warrior two, rise. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring the top arm over your ear, extended side angle. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, plant the hands. Bring the foot back and wash it out. Take your chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Good, my friends. Full breath in, full breath out. Let's get our other side. So left side, inhale, leg comes high. Exhale, step foot through. Tap the right knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, come into your half split. So straightening through that front leg, flex the toes back towards your face. Beautiful, take another full round of breath. I'm feeling that hamstring stretch. Hinge forward, frame the foot with the hands and spiral that back foot down parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, hinge forward, bring the front arm down and find your extended side angle. Top arm over the top ear, beautiful. And then plant the hands, zip that front leg back. Good, stay here in your high plank for just a moment and find your breath. Good, so nice, calm breath in and out. Good, strengthening the core. Core is so, so important for so many of those advanced postures we like to get into. So it all starts with kind of a strong core. Stay for five, four, three, two, one, press yourself back into your downward facing dog. And no worries if your heels aren't reaching the mat yet, you'll get there and just sort of breathing into it. You can come up onto your tippy toes and melt the heels back down. Good, making sure you really ground palms down. Stay here for a few more breaths in and out. Good, yogis. Just a few more standing postures and then we'll get down on the mat. On the inhale, sweep your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot through, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. So the back left foot seals down onto the mat. The left toes are pointing towards the top left hand corner of the mat. Hips are squared off. So I even get like uneven hips sometimes. I move mine. You want level hips squared towards the front and just a nice steady breath. Big inhale, big exhale. Parallel yourself now to the side of your mat. So the sides of your feet are parallel, arms out to a T. And go ahead and fold yourself forward. Prasarita Padatanasana. So for Prasarita, you can grab for opposite sides of your feet. You can leave your hands kind of down. You just let your head and neck dangle and let yourself go here. Two more breaths. And then gently press yourself back up. Now walk yourself around to the back of your mat. Good, frame your front foot with your hands and then step the right foot in slightly. Get it sealed down onto the mat. Your right toes are pointing towards the top right hand corner of the mat. Your knife edge of your foot is sealed down. Inhale, rise up. You're in your warrior one on this side. So hips are squared off, they're level, and you're breathing. Big breath in, big breath out. Hands drop, left foot back to meet the right. And then take your optional vinyasa here. Good, moving with your breath. You're back in your downward facing dog now. Big inhale, and big exhale. The next inhale reaches the right leg high. 
Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Drop your left knee down to the mat. This is runner's lunge or lizard pose. There's a few different names for it. Um, it's a nice hip opener. So you can stay upright onto the hands. You can also kind of just melt down. Feels really good. Um, if it's feeling intense, you may want to come up a little higher. Just meet yourself where you're at today. Good. And don't be attached to what any of these poses look like. That's why we call the yoga practice. Um, it's not going to be perfect when you first start out, when you're learning. And just be patient with yourself. Come back up onto your hands. And then I want you to reach back. If it's accessible, grab that back foot and bring it in forward for a nice quad stretch. If you're not quite getting there, you can use like a towel or a strap or something to capture your foot if you have one handy. Good, go ahead and release that. Good, plant the hands, zip your right leg back. Come back to your downward facing dog. Good, let's get our other side. Left leg high. Exhale, step the foot forward and knock your right knee down to the ground and come into that same variation you did on the first side. And just sink here, let it go. Good, and then come back up onto the palms. Good, reach back, get your quad stretch. Even out, just a couple of breaths here. Opening up the quads, feeling that front line of the leg. Got another full round of breath, and then let it go. Hands plant, that left leg zips back. Optional vinyasa here. Last one, I'm gonna cue of class. So chaturanga on the exhale, upward facing dog on the inhale, and downward facing dog on the exhale. From your downward facing dog, sweep your right leg up, inhale, and exhale, bring it forward. So you want your shin kind of parallel. Um, mine is never like totally parallel. This is half pigeon. So setting yourself up here for this, you can frame the hips with the hands for a few breaths. And as you're ready, if you'd like to take this sleeping pigeon variation where you kind of melt down onto your mat, feels really nice, good hip opener. And some people prefer to stay upright a little more in this. Go ahead, take it here for just a couple more breaths in and out the nose. Beautiful friends, and then gentle, press yourself up. Pedal it out. You can lift that right leg, bend the knee, open the hip. You can bring it around for a nice front line stretch by planting the right foot, totally optional. And then come back to your downward facing dog. Time to get your left side, sweep the left leg up on an inhale and then bring it forward. Again, the shin may or not be parallel to the front, kind of depending on your anatomy. If you stayed upright for a few breaths on the first side, stay upright here. And you'll melt yourself forward as you're ready. If you're taking that variation, totally fine to stay upright as well. Just kind of depends on where you want to feel it and how open your hips are. Got a couple more breaths here in your sleeping pigeon. Noticing your left and right side might feel a little different. Most of us have kind of one side of our hips that's a little tighter. Good, take another full round of breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Good, gently press yourself up. Make your way back to your downward facing dog, pedal it out. Get some fresh blood flowing back through that hip. Lift the leg, bend the knee. Take whatever variation you did on the first side. Good, and then come back to your downward facing dog. Beautiful friends, and then come down onto your mat here. We'll take 
um, just a nice seated forward fold. And then we'll close our class out on our back with a nice twist on each side. So for your seated forward fold, go ahead and remove your fleshy bits from underneath your sits bones, extend your legs out straight in front of you, flex the toes, inhale, arms up, and exhale, reach for your feet. It's fine if you're just reaching the shins or if your arms are resting by the sides of your legs. Lengthen the spine to inhale, exhale, sink. One more breath. Good friends, and then start to lower all the way down onto your back. Take a happy baby pose. So grab for the outsides of your feet and just gently pull your knees down towards your armpits. Good, then release the feet, relax the left leg down to the earth, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, pull it to the left side of the body, start to gaze right. And take some deep breaths. Gently make your way back to center. Relax the right leg to the earth. Pull left knee in. Big tight squeeze, inhale. And exhale, make your way to your supine twist. Let the knee just fall over. Good friends. Once you feel nice and even, roll yourself back to center. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze, big breath in. And then exhale, Savasana. Let the legs fall out nice and wide, palms face up, eyes are closed. Highly recommend just hitting pause, taking a few moments if you have the time. And just a quiet, Closed eyes, corpse pose. Good, if you're ready to move on gently, starting to pull the knees in and rolling over to your side. And gently pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Good, cross-legged position. Palms to prayer. We close out class with a namaste and bow. Good. Thank you guys so much. Um, just a short little flavor there um, of some of the yoga flows that I like to offer. So that's just a little bit of a taste, kind of a beginner flow. Um, we did do a lot of kind of chaturangas, which are a really strengthening move. Um, and come back and check out some of the other videos. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you.